So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to talk about how to set up GSUtil on our local system, okay, our laptop. So basically the advantage of setting up uh, it locally, like you can uh, access all your Google Cloud bucket locally and uh, see what all contents is there, okay. And many times if you want to utilize that uh, storage, for example, we want to create a data pipelines, okay. And we want to version our data within our cloud storage. So that time we need to define that uh, remote storage within in our version control system right so that that i mean uh, i have created a video on how to do data versioning using dvc so there i have used this uh, uh google cloud storage for remote storage okay so for that purposes we will be needing that so, but uh, today let's see like how to set up that locally so that you can use that in uh, many different ways okay so for example uh, what i'm talking about so if uh, you have set up a GSUT locally, then what you'll be able to do basically. So if you could do GSUT LS, then it will show you all the cloud buckets available uh, uh, in your Google Cloud storage. Okay. So right now I have uh, only one uh, bucket. And if I show you my uh, cloud uh, account, so, so here if you see, so I'm inside my Google Cloud console and here I just typed uh, cloud storage and if I am inside that, then it's all okay. I am having only one uh, 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 GS bucket as of now, okay. But I can create another one and let's, let me create another one and see, okay. So for example, um, DVC underscore demo, suppose that I'm creating this bucket, okay. And uh, if you want to have something, some other option click, then you can check that one, okay. But I'm just creating it. Uh, okay, this is already taken, so maybe. And 07 and 08, I'm creating another one, okay? So let me create this one and let me confirm that. Okay, so now DVC 08, uh, this bucket is also uh, got created. And if I go a little back, then I will see, okay, there are two buckets listed here, okay? And now if I go to my console here, and then if I run the previous command again, then it should show me two buckets. Right. So DVC 08, I created just now. Okay. And now because I'm able to access this locally. So now if I create any pipeline locally, then I can uh, give this as a remote storage uh, there. Okay. So now with all that said, let's see like how to uh, do that. Okay. How I have set up in my local system and how you can also do the same thing. Okay. So for that, uh, again, uh, Google has very uh, good uh, documentation in place. So let me show you that quickly. So if you uh, basically uh, search uh, setup uh, GS util, then you will get this URL and you can go to this URL. Okay. And then here, if you scroll a bit uh, down, then uh, you will see uh, we have uh, multiple options available. For example, how to do the setup on Linux, how to do on uh, Debian Ubuntu, and then Mac OS and Windows. Okay. Uh, maybe many of you might have Windows system. Then what you can do, basically, you can follow this. So what you need to do, just need to open the PowerShell. And inside PowerShell, you simply copy this and run this command. Okay. So what it will do in first, it will just download this um, cloud uh, CLI installer. And then secondly, this will place that into the environment variable. So that every time you uh, open that uh, uh, console, uh, I mean terminal, then uh, it will be available. Okay. So using that, you can um, do this setup very easily. Okay. And remaining after that, uh, you need to authenticate basically. So you need to run G cloud in it. So all those uh, steps will be same as uh, I'm going to do in the uh, Ubuntu. So if here, what I will do, so these are the steps mentioned. So let me run each step one by one and we'll show you like how you can do also. Okay, so here, uh, e even if it is installed in my system, so forget about that, uh, we can do it freshly again. Okay, so for me, it will say it is already available, but for you, it will just uh, try to install. Okay, so it is asking for the password. So let me provide the password. Okay, so it is just uh, uh, updating the app get, uh, so it will take a few seconds. And meanwhile, it is uh, updating, so I can show you. So let me do this thing. I can open this side by side so that you can see both the screen. Okay. So it is doing this. And if I scroll a bit down, then uh, this command I have already ran. And then next I need to run this command, okay? So what it will do basically, it has uh, app transport HTTPs and it will just uh, set up the uh, certificates. 
So let me copy this and then, okay, it is done. And then I can page. So yes. And after setup, after certification and everything, what we can do, we can uh, import some uh, Google Cloud uh, public keys. So using, uh, so of course here uh, there are multiple options. So for example, if uh, uh, my, my Ubuntu is of course uh, 20.04, so that's where I can use this command. But in your case, it is lesser Then of course um, you can use this one as well. So let me just copy this command. Okay, let it run first. Yeah, it's done. And now if I run this thing, then it will download. Okay. So basically it is downloading the cloud CLI public keys and it will set up everything for us. Okay. And meanwhile, it is downloading. Then and then you need to skip all these things. Basically, uh, for us, this is a, only uh, what will do the job. And then second thing is like add the G Cloud CLI distribution URI as a package source. Okay. So again, uh, for uh, 18.04 plus, we will use this. Otherwise, for a lesser version, you can use this one. So I'll be using this one. Okay. So here again, if I go to the terminal, so it is still uh, processing. So we can wait for a few more minutes. Yes, because it is already available. So that's what for me it is saying, do you want to overwrite? So I will, okay, say yes. Okay. And now uh, next one, we just uh, did this, okay. So it will just uh, add that uh, URI, the package source. And then the last one, like update and install the Google Cloud CLI. So uh, once uh, your uh, kind of uh, configuration is done, then uh, this will uh, kind of uh, a big update. It is doing this again. You can just ignore that one. And the second thing you can do that aggregate install into Cloud CLI. Okay. So let's run that one. it is downloading because in this step it is downloading and it will try to install it will take few more seconds that's it Okay. Meanwhile, it is uh, doing that one. So, uh, so in this step, basically, it is downloading and installing. And then uh, the fifth step, I mean, the fourth step, like this is optional. Of course, you can uh, install other uh, dependencies. And if you want to work with any specific uh, CLI, then that you can install. Okay, But for us, it is not required. So we can skip that one. Okay. And the uh, next and final step is like gcloud in it. So it will just kind of uh, initialize and it will kind of authenticate. Okay. So let me see if that is completed. It is still doing. Okay. Once that is completed, we'll run the D cloud in it. So it again uh, depend on the speed and all uh, uh, about your uh, Wi-Fi. So if you have very good wi-fi then of course we'll do a little bit earlier but yeah for me it is still processing so that's fine so yeah now you see it is uh, completed and now we need to do a uh, gcloud in it okay so let me paste that one as well so the moment I do uh, G Cloud in it, so what it is saying, uh, so you need to follow what it is saying basically. Okay, so the command will take you through the okay fine. So systems uh, from your current configuration default or uh, so this is my email account. Okay, and uh, by default this ML demo uh, project is selected. Okay, so now it is selling uh, reinitialize this configuration with the new settings. Do you want to uh, reinitialize this? Uh, with the new setting okay or create a new configuration if you want to altogether create a new configuration then you can select two okay and then uh let, let me select two and then uh because for, for you it, if you are doing the freshly then uh, uh you need to select the new configuration so let me just enter this one okay and now it is what it is saying 
enter configuration name name start with the lower case letter and contain only lower case letters a to z zero to type okay so so maybe i'm typing my name as those okay now what is telling uh, your current call has been set to Ashutos. You can skip diagnostic next time by doing the following flag G Cloud in it and skip diag diagnostic. Okay, so that's fine. So now what it is doing, it is checking for network and all. So it detects and fixes local network connection issue. That's fine. Okay, so it is running. So let it run. So now what it is asking, so uh, choose the account you want to use for this configuration. Uh, okay, so uh, like uh, I, I, of course I will be using my email ID. So with this it will authenticate, so I'll select one. Okay, and in your system, if you are logged in with some uh, email IDs, it will show, otherwise you can uh, si uh, sign in with a new Google account as well. Okay, so I will select one, but you can select two. So you're signed in as, okay. And now uh, after signing in, uh, it will show, okay, with that email ID, what all uh, cloud projects are associated with, okay. In my, in my case, these are the different uh, projects. So you can select uh, in your case, whatever it is showing. So my case, I will be selecting ML demo. So again, I will select three here, okay. So now my uh, project has been set uh, to this one. Okay. And now uh, uh, everything is set up. And now if I do uh, GS util LS, then it will of course uh, show me the, uh, uh, what all buckets are available in that uh, project basically so i think uh that's all using that uh, you can do but uh, sometime um you get uh error uh, regarding uh, so when you uh you are using this uh, gs bucket as a remote okay so sometime you get error so for that what also you need to do basically you need to do g cloud g cloud uh, auth login okay so you need to run this one and it will uh, from backend it will open this uh, system then you can select your uh, gmail account or by which you want to uh, log in and you can do the allow okay and now uh, it will say uh, you are now authenticated with the g cloud cli okay so the moment you do this so that's done and then uh, next you can also do I mean, normally these two commands uh, are not required, but uh, they might be needed when uh, you are, I mean, using this as a remote storage uh, in DVC. Okay, so because I'm creating this video as part of uh, DVC version control. Okay, so because there I'm going to use uh, this uh, uh, GS bucket as a cloud, a remote cloud storage. So there uh, you might need some time. Okay, it gives permission error while accessing remote storage. Okay, so that time you need to run these two commands. So the first one is this one, and next one is this one, and then everything is done. And now if you do GS uh, util and uh, ls, and then it will show what all buckets are there, what I showed at the beginning. And if you do GS util and uh, GS and then you select your uh, bucket name, so 07, because this is the bucket has some content, and 08 is the empty. So let's see here. Uh, okay, so we need to give ls as well, right? To list. And now it should list. Yeah, so now uh, DVC contains files. And if you give inside to files, then it will further show the content inside that one. So likewise, you can keep on uh, drilling further. So that's how uh, I hope uh, you can. Uh, you also did the same thing along with me because uh, you're watching this video. It means you needed that one. And uh, if you have any problem, then just uh, mention in the comment. We can discuss that thing. And as I said, so there are multiple options available uh, here. If you go to this documentation and scroll up. So here, uh, in if you, you are installing in Windows, then you can just install this one. And then at the end, after doing these two commands, you can simply run G Cloud in it and it will initialize and it will just to configure everything for you. Like it will select your account, it will select your uh, pro project and then it, it's done, okay? And then uh, at the very end, you can do G Cloud uh, 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 auth login and that's it. Okay, so these three commands are same for Windows as well as Ubuntu and uh, even for others as well, okay? But uh, for Ubuntu, we have already seen. Okay, so that's all. I think uh, you are able to uh, set up GSUT. And if you have any problem, then please feel free to mention them in the comment. Okay. 
So that's it. Thank you.